Okay, now we're going to look at um, how to change someone's membership. So again, we've gone into people, we've gone ooh, people, we've gone into athletes, and now we're going to search the athlete again. I'm looking for myself. There's a couple of steps that need to be done here. What we need to do is stop the auto renew on the current membership and then add the new membership. And um, um, it won't, it, for some people, it won't just work from the date they want. We have to work from the date that their current membership expires. So I'm in my own um, membership here. And when I scroll down to what I'm currently on, I'm on an unlimited membership. Um, at the start of each week, uh, or start of the, the, this week, because it runs on a weekly basis, was the 5th. It expires on the 12th of, the, uh, of this month, um, and then it's auto-renewed. So what would happen with this membership is from the 12th, it would auto-renew for the next week. So on this membership, what I need to do is stop that auto-renew. Otherwise, if I add the next membership, they'll be pay paying for two memberships. So I'm in the current membership now, and I go auto. I go to actions, and I go stop auto renew. Click on the stop auto renew, and then it'll only allow me to stop from the next date. Okay, so I hit save. Bang. Now that will. Click me back, hopefully, to the original memberships. Yes, we're back here now. And what you should see is here on the current membership, um, it will stop on the 12th. Now I can add the new membership. And let's say I'm dropping down to limited. So I'm going to drop down to limited. I'm going to click on this one. Um, and then I add the, the payment. I want to stay on the weekly one. Uh, but the date now needs to be set up from the 12th, which is the, the finished date of the last um, um, membership. And that's very important. Don't start that from any other date, but the finish of the current membership and you can either sign it now with the athlete because a new agreement needs to be signed or you can email it i will usually click email and then send it to the client and that's it it's all done you would send the confirmation email again which is within um the google website and you click on click on change membership if i scroll down that's the change form, which you should be at the reception desk, and then your confirmation email of the change, and from which one, the, which they change from, and you can copy and paste that into an email. Job done.